this is a nice rate of reaction demonstration. What I have here is three green light sticks. You can get them anywhere, and I'm just going to activate them, breaking them open, shaking them all around, and just activate all three of them. Chemical reaction is occurring. We can see an energy change. The light reveals it's exothermic, so it's a nice way to show rates of reaction by how uh, dim or bright the reaction is. Okay, so this parallels a lot of different types of reactions. So I've got the three light sticks here. I'm going to cut the lights out. Since the glowing um, light gives me an indication of a reaction that's going. Now, I'm going to put one into hot water. Okay, and I'm going to put one into some very cold um, liquid. Uh, the coldest I've got is liquid nitrogen. So I'm going to do that right now, pour some liquid nitrogen into here. And we're going to see how temperature affects the rate of reaction. Now, reactions occur mostly because of collisions between um, the, mole the reacting molecules. Now, effective collisions. So temperature is a measure of kinetic energy, or is a portion of kinetic energy. So as temperature increases, as the hot water shows you, we should see a higher rate of reaction. Okay, compared to our control, which is at room temperature. And if you can see that the reaction in the liquid nitrogen is almost completely stopped. So very cold temperatures means that we're really slowing down the motion here so that there are less collisions, less effective collisions. And what happens because of that is the reaction will actually stop. Whereas the reaction in the hot water, in the warmer scenario, what we have here is we have an increase of the rate of reaction, an increase of brightness or luminescence because there are, in fact, more collisions or more effective collisions with higher kinetic energy. More molecules are colliding and effectively colliding to make the reactant particles, whereas in the cold liquid nitrogen, we can see the reaction has almost completely stopped. So temperature is one of the factors in the rate of reaction. And as temperature increases, the rate of reaction, the number of collisions increases. And as, of course, the temperature decreases, you can see that the luminescent or the rate of reaction drops, less light being produced. Now, interesting enough, I can switch these. Put this one into the warm water. And put this bright one into the liquid nitrogen. Kind of cool to watch the fog kind of glow here. and we should see the reverse happen. Again, as we heat up the cold light stick, okay, we should start seeing it starting to brighten up. And as we chill the very warm light stick, it was having a lot of collisions, a lot of motion, it is starting to um, decrease. Now, it looks like I've run out of that liquid nitrogen, so I'll add some more and see if I can reverse the reaction here. So temperature is obviously a major factor in reaction rates because it's a major factor in affecting the number of effective collisions. Kinetic energy lowers the number of effective collisions lower. Collisions are due to motion, obviously. And as you can see, my initially very cold is warming up. Now, some of this has probably got frozen, so it's a little time. Now, we know this is true. There's something in your life. You probably see this all the time. You know that on a very cold day, maybe your dad's battery doesn't work. Sometimes on a very cold day, it's hard to turn over an engine because a battery is made of a chemical reaction and tough to produce the voltage. So sometimes you've seen this at work. And also, you've probably seen that maybe at home, you store your batteries in the, in the freezer or the refrigerator. The reason why you do that is you slow the rate of reaction down, and you, may, and you basically prevent the battery from discharging and becoming dead on its own. So as we can see, we reversed this very nicely. We've stopped this light stick from producing any, the reaction has completely stopped. There's no light being given off. And you can do that with a light stick. You can put it in the freezer if your kids have them, and that will prevent them from running out. Obviously, the one in the warm water, okay, giving off more light, therefore the reaction rate is faster, therefore the collisions are more, okay, will run out faster. So a nice demonstration of temperature affecting reaction rate.